it's prime everywhere. It's part of generation. Plus, it's in the Bible and Revelations. You know what I'm saying? So, time is time is ending. People don't realize that. So. Yeah, I mean, it's like all over the place. It's too expensive for people. Though, what's the solution? It's the government. That's the main solution right now. The government. The government is taking everything. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how it is. You know. That's James. I met James when I was driving around the east side of San Antonio one afternoon. He was out for a walk. And I was like, hey man, tell me what's up with this place. All this bad shit about San Antonio. It doesn't feel bad to me where we are right now. He was basically like, oh, it's bad. Real bad. They're all just inside right now. I'm glad none of the trouble was up yet. You guys aren't happy about that. You want to see people wandering around acting thug-like. I know you. But you're not the white guy in the hood with the camera stuck out of your Jeep. This was my fifth day on the Texas Adventure. A month in this big state. This was the first day I really saw bad. Up to this point, it was some crummy neighborhoods in Austin. But that was it. But most of San Antonio is pretty rough. And dangerous. Might not look like it right now. But you come in here at night. It is big time bad boy. And things here are just getting worse. You got, who's going to Chicago, you oh, said? Sí. Yeah? Who's going to Chicago? Chicago and other, other, other Miami. Family. Miami for family. Miami. Miami for family. That's the Migrant Resource Center in San Antonio. I talked about this place a little bit in the video before. If you've been paying attention, right here is usually their first stop when they're bussed up here from the border. And with them comes crime and drugs. Boy, is this a headache. The long timers here are frustrated. They say there's migrants wandering around their neighborhoods now, asking for things, looking around, just generally making people here feel uncomfortable. You just wait till they start dealing drugs to your kids at school. But that's the state of Texas now. There's a lot of that going on all over this state. Not sure what happened here. I think this whole street is boarded up. Hee-haw, San Antonio, Texas. The Alamo City, the River City, the Fiesta City, the Mexico City. No, it's not called that. But it is two-thirds Hispanic. And there's more than a million people here now. It's the seventh biggest city in the country. And you probably didn't know that. Now I asked somebody I know who lives in San Antonio where to go. His name's Rico. I was like, Rico, I want to be in San Antonio for a couple days. And you know me, I got to show people the bad sides of town. No holding back. Where's the worst parts of town? Rico told me, you need to go to the west side and they go down the south side, and then the east side. <laughs> and I was like, isn't that almost all the sides? But Rico was right. Pretty much everything in this general area of San Antonio could be considered some version of dangerous, somewhat poor, and getting worse by the year. There's some nice rims on some of them trucks. Lots of bars on and fences and gates. Let's start out by talking about the crime here. Crime's going up, according to the San Antonio Police Department. 
Human trafficking here has almost doubled this year. A third of all human trafficking cases that take place in this country happen right here in San Antonio. It's kids and adults, and it's just terrible here. I think it's because we're so close to Mexico. They had a big crime spree right before I got here. Like almost 100 crimes in one day and 50 assaults. 50 people got beat up in one day? That's like somebody in every neighborhood here. There's a 1 in 23 chance that you would be a victim of a crime if you lived here. And property crimes are a big deal. The number of cars stolen in San Antonio has gone up a ton. And stolen property has doubled here. But the big problem they have here are the murders. Homicides are up 43% in the last couple years. There were 231 murders in San Antonio last year. That's a lot. Even for the seventh biggest city in the country. Of course, San Antonio's police will tell you, if you're just taking your kids to school or going to the grocery store or you're retired, your chances of being the victim of a crime are much lower. <laughs> well, not anymore they're not. This is the new America. You can't go to the ATM without having to worry somebody's going to whack you or follow you home and rob you or just take your car from the gas station with your kid in the back seat. Not too long ago, some guy was picking up Chinese food here in town, and he got carjacked. But the idiot didn't know how to drive a stick, so he ditched the car. And then the owner of the car shot him right in the Chinese restaurant parking lot. <laughs> Ask anybody in here over the age of 50, and they'll be like, the kids are most of the problem. They drop out of school, they don't want to work, they just want to sell drugs and listen to dumb, angry music and play video games. And the parents just don't give a shit. It's true. Of course, it's catch and release here. That's how it is in a lot of the country now. No bail, low bail, treating criminals like kids. These people know they won't get into trouble, so why would they stop? I'm abandoned school. Now I wouldn't be scared in here. Hell no! I'm tough and brave. I was attacked by engines and spent a week in the occupation of Santa Fe. These barrio billies don't scare me none. In fact, they should be more afraid of me. Ask Wounded Knee about my aim. I once pegged him when he was drinking whiskey. Right, right now we are on the east side. It all kind of looks the same. I heard the east side has some pretty bad pockets too. And it looks the same as the south side and the west side. Just, they're all kind of bad sides. Where we are right now is the east side of San Antonio. There just isn't really a lot down here. There's not as many grocery stores with healthy food and there's less medical care for folks. The roads and sidewalks and Everything else needs a lot of fixing up. The average house in San Antonio is only $250,000. Most of this stuff is way less than that. And that's because it's not thriving here. I was over here on this side of town filming a housing project that's been in a lot of trouble. That place right there is a big deal for crime. 
We're not too far away from Mexico where all the fentanyl and meth and whatever else the new drugs are are coming in. And they are not hard to find here. I hear the heroin abuse here is historically high. There's some prison gang here that's been able to distribute heroin from inside the prison. Pretty effectively, too. There's been a 50% increase in fentanyl seizures here. Gangs are a big deal here, mister. Mexican gangs, especially. Las putas, senora mayores, pequeños, JK. I made those gangs up. But there's a lot of them here. And they do not mess around. Drugs and money. That's all they care about. So have you guys ever wondered what happened to Chuck Norris? Well, I saw a video of him online, and the dude looks amazing. He's all fit and in shape, has all this energy. He's got grandkids, and apparently he's keeping up with them. I saw that video, and I was just, like, blown away. I, I hope I look and feel that great when I'm in my 80s. I'm almost 50, and I already feel like I'm slowing down. And he did all that by making one change. And his wife did the same thing. She changed one thing. She looks great. She said she feels like she's in her 50s. She's all energetic and lost some weight. They're both doing fantastic. Now, Chuck made a special video that explains everything. So make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com slash Nick or by clicking on the link below the video. It's going to change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com slash Nick and click on the link in the description below to watch the video now. You're not going to believe how simple it is. And keep in mind, Chuck Norris is 84 years old, people. He looks good. He feels amazing. He looks and feels better than I do, and probably most of you at home, and you're in your 50s. Well, Chuck discovered that he could make dramatic changes to his health by focusing on three things that sabotage our bodies as we age. And you can see Chuck's method by going to the link below. It's chuckdefense.com slash nick. The links in the description. You need to check this out. Do it for your health. I know you're curious. So go and see what Chuck Norris is doing over there and see how he's been able to look and feel the way he does. It's amazing. It's inspiring. And frankly, I think we all need to do it. The East Side is where I met James. He's not in a gang, but he knows about him. What's going on, man? I hear that like they got trouble with some crime and stuff right now. Yeah, this side is, man. It is. Santa is cool, man. Just new generations, man. Just changed everything, man. So just gotta like stay out the way and just just trying to avoid all the situation that's going on out here. You know, that's about it, man. Like, why? What's going on? Why? Why is crime getting worse here? There's no high, no, you no know, business over here. No job for the for the young for the young adults to work at. You know, you might look at like a little like a little downs or, or Burger King, but we're like on the other side of town where the good job is at. There's no job like that over here to bring the money and income over here to benefit and help the young people out. That's what it is, why it's like that. So people just don't have any money, so they just go to crime? No, they have, they have money, but like if you go like, on, like, like 1604 way out there, where the good job is at, they don't bring none of that jobs over here. And then they come over here with the, the businessmen from out of town coming over here to the east side, taking over the, the neighborhood, buying everything up out here, and then bringing the price of rent up to like $1,500 a month. People can't afford that, man. This this is the east side, man. You know, it's, it's, low, e it's low income east side, but there's money to be made on the east side. They don't bring the business over here, though. 
So that's why people do what they do, you know. So they just turn to crime to make mo to get money so they can. It probably the way they were raised up too, though. You know, it don't. It depends on the situation, but other than that, it's all right. It's not. It's not bad. It is. Cost of living has gone up, and it's, it's like around, around the whole world, man. It's like it's crime everywhere. And then that's in San Antonio. It's crime everywhere. It's like in Maine. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crime everywhere. It's part of the generation. Plus. It's in the Bible and Revelations, you know what I'm saying? So time is, time is ending. People don't realize that. So. Yeah, I mean, it's like all over the place. It's too expensive for people to right. afford shit. So what's the solution? It's the government. That's the main solution right now, the government. The government is taking everything, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how it is, you know? You finally got to speak of the house, but he ain't gonna do nothing. He gonna, all that money going to the government and but it's out. That's how I look at it. You think it's getting worse around here? No. It's about the same. It's about the same. You go on the north side, east side, it's about the same. Where's the, like the which side of San Antonio has the like the worst crime and poverty? It's all over, isn't it? Just, it is. Uh, it is west side. But see, I don't see. I'm from San Bernardino, man. I'm from not a good area, it's yeah. California. Yeah, but, and this looks just like where I'm from. Yeah. But our shit is dangerous. I don't feel dangerous driving around here. No, nah, it ain't. It ain't just San Antonio. It's all over, man. Let me go check out my end. All right, man. Well, thank you. What's right. your name, James? Yeah. Thank you. Are you good? You take it easy, man. All right, dude. This is the west side of San Antonio. That right there is the Cassiano Homes. It's one of the oldest housing projects in the whole state of Texas. Now there's videos on YouTube of other people trying to walk through that housing project and they got chased away by dogs. But I didn't get out of the car. I'm not dumb. This place is all old and run down and in need of repair. The city set aside a million bucks to fix up some of its housing projects. But that is nowhere near enough. And there just aren't enough housing projects to go around here anymore. Texas is getting super expensive. So a lot of people can't afford to live in an apartment or on their own without help. And the wait list for public housing in San Antonio? You're not going to believe this. 97,000 families. Not people. Almost 100,000 families are on the wait list to get public housing in San Antonio. Before COVID, it was a third of that. How are they gonna find enough places to put 100,000 families? They think it would cost the city 500 million to fix up its 70 housing communities in the city. And to get that money, they're thinking about taking out housing bonds. Sucks for homeowners, having to subsidize other people's bad mistakes. The poverty here is way higher than most cities of its size. If you make 15000 or less, you're considered poverty level here. One in eight people in this city earns that. I know, one in eight people here earns less than fifteen grand a year. It's a mess, and it's just going to keep getting worse. Housing ain't going to get any cheaper. Not in Texas. Not in the third fastest growing metro in the country, it isn't. And this is the future of America, right here. You know you're in a true San Antonio ghetto when you see a stray dog. And that was just the beginning of the dogs I'd see. There are just dogs everywhere in here where are you supposed to be dude dang now i've been to just about every single ghetto in this country by now and never have i seen so many stray dogs as i did that morning in san antonio more dogs what is the deal with the dogs they were everywhere What's up, man? You know what's up with all the dogs everywhere? 
Okay. Sorry. More dogs out. Look at them dogs running free. More damn dogs. You ain't got a house, brother? Huh? You ain't got a house? Where's your house at? <laughs> Go home. Dang. What about the homeless here? They think there's more than 3,000 homeless people in San Antonio now. But they don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's more than that. And it's going up all the time. Most of the homeless stuff I saw was pretty close to downtown. There's a nonprofit here called Haven for Hope that kind of acts like a summer camp for the homeless. They stick all their homeless people into a big room and they put them on bunk beds or mats on the floor. Kind of like a big emergency shelter in a high school gym during a hurricane. I had all these questions about this place. I was like, I've been to a lot of homeless shelters and I've seen places try to make a dent in the homeless population. So can I come see your Haven for Hope nonprofit? And the lady who runs the place was like, no, you can't come in here and I don't want to talk to you. These nonprofits, I tell you, they never want to talk to me. What are they hiding? Let's go to the south side of San Antonio, another part of the city that's struggling. Damn roosters in the road. But you don't see that back home. There's just a lot of kind of messed up stuff. But generally, so far, it's just super poor people that seem to be keeping to themselves. They're pretty messy. But it doesn't feel dangerous to me. Not like a lot of the hoods I've been to, let me tell you that. Down here, it's the same thing you see all over town. Older neighborhoods, trash, ragged yards, broken down cars, loose dogs. Of course, we're free to live the way we want, but empty and boarded up and run down all just kind of seems to breed crime and lazy and drugs and, and violence. Seems to me the whole place just needs more cleaning up. I bet the whole vibe in here would change. There's a lot of sex offenders in this part of town. And this is also the part of town where all the undocumented immigrants go. The ones we saw earlier. Another big problem here is squatters. People are getting into these empty homes and using them as a place to party and get all effed up. And then good luck trying to get people out who squat in your empty home. Homeowner comes over and they're like, get out. The squatter's like, hell no, and slams the door. I live here now. And the cops can't do anything. They're just like, Got to take them to court. That's the country we live in today. Now people here will say, yeah, the South Side's bad, but it's not nearly as bad here as it was in the 90s, which is probably true. Back then it was some real hood shit. You won't get shot at the H-E-B today like you would have back then. I'll get rid of the problem. Mappy, gold darn it, you can't just discharge a weapon in here. They'll return fire. You gotta assume everybody in Texas has a gun, registered or not. Now put that sidearm away or I'll draw on you. I'd be a better dad to these kids 
than their deadbeat fathers are. Towards the end of my day in the bad parts of San Antonio, I got closer to downtown and I saw a little bit of life. Looks like there's some progress here, cleaning the place up. It'd be great if I came back here one day and a lot of it was changing like this. But I bet it won't. I know what a lot of you guys are going to say in the comments already. This is where the country's headed. We peaked. It's all downhill from here. Import the third world. Become the third world. There's no middle class left. I don't know if any of that's true. And I'd like to think we can turn things around. It's happening in a few places in the country. So I know it can be done. They just need some people here to care. Only then... Will any of this ever be made right again? Well, hey, Nick Johnson fans. So YouTube's pushing this whole membership thing now, and I think it's great. So I set one up for this channel. If you want to be a member on this channel, you can only do it on your computer right now. They make it hard for some reason. So go and hit join right there, and you can support the channel and join various membership tiers. I'm excited about it because I'm going to post all sort of behind the scenes content, extra interviews, fun mappy stuff, bonus songs, and more. Just some extra stuff that doesn't make it onto the main channel. So think about becoming a member. Huh, everyone? You should join. I did. Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. And I can also help you find your new house, too. Email me and I'll work with you on not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home, too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. And if you want to buy some Mappy gear, click the store link on my homepage. From there, you can check out the latest merch. There's hoodies, coffee cups, stickers, and shirts. Show off how much you love Mappy and support the channel. And I'm on Cameo too. If you want me to send you or somebody you know a personalized video message, go to Cameo and search Nick Johnson YouTube. It's fun. Hey YouTube world, I'm Sage, Nick's manager. You've enjoyed a Corner House Entertainment production. So watch another one. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great! You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more.